Let's go through these, see what they sound like. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Liam Killen. I'm here to present to you the Slate VMS expansion packs. These are all mic models that are only compatible with the Slate ML1, which I have in front of me right here. But today is all about enhancing a meat and potatoes type groove, so very foundational in my DAW. So we'll be recording some perks and here is what the groove sounds like. And so we're gonna be adding some gravy, some sauce over top of this uh, with acoustic perks recorded through the Slate ML1. As you can see off to the side here, I have a hi-hat. There's also a, a shaker here as well. And if I reach down here, I also have a cowbell. So these are the parts that we'll be adding to this groove. I'll be demonstrating just how easy these mic models are to use and how good they sound. I I find that they just kind of speak for themselves. I'm assuming that you guys already know how this whole system works. So let's just get right into it, see how these mics sound. Two. Three. <laughs> I just find that this mic is so crisp and flat to begin with, especially when it comes to high perks like what we just recorded. But of course these mic models will bring everything to the next level. We're currently on the Blackbird Studio mics, which is what we're gonna start with. Mics, let's go through these, see what they sound like. Because we're still in a foundational phase, these choices are almost overwhelming. I'm just gonna rapid fire it. Whatever stands out, I'm gonna go with it. Definitely not that one. Okay, so let's go with 67. There's also this intensity knob here. Yeah, so as I turn up the intensity, it sounds just a little bit more processed. So I want these to sound a bit more on the natural side. Next thing, let's close this up, go over to Cowbell, which is what I'm hearing next. Three. <sighs> Let's go back to these mics. I pulled up the Classic Tubes 3 down here. Let's go through some of these. Bring up the intensity maybe a bit more. Whoa. With the whole groove? We've gone full disco. We have two very simple elements here in play. So what can we pull out of these perks within the box? I have a couple of tricks uh, up my sleeve. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna double this shaker, pull this one down here. I'm going to move it backwards a little bit. Okay. And I wanna pan these two, but before doing that, I actually just wanna mute one of these and get a different quality going for the second shaker. I like the classic tubes three, so let's pull those up, mute this, bring this down. Let's go to the bottom here. Let's go with this one. So the next step of this product here with the shaker is to make it sound like it was recorded with two mics at once, two different mics. And so that's exactly what we have here. I'm going to pan this far left, far right. And now we have a much fuller shaker. Yeah, I might even bring those down a bit. I suggest experimenting with this idea, basically with any instrument that you record, it's just a great way to make it sound like you've used more than one mic. And then of course you have that leeway of panning things differently within your mix. So very powerful tool. And so we'll do the exact same thing with the cowbell. So I'm gonna double it. I'm going to move this oh so slightly. 
backwards, let's say, eh, like that. Um, and for this one, we'll keep it down the middle for now. For the second one, let's go back to Blackbird. I'm gonna X out of this, okay. Let's meet one of these. I mean, at this point, it's so subtle, the difference. Although I do like this, B251. Let's hear that with the other one. And I'm gonna pan one of them to the left. It just sounds a lot more live. Right, so now there's so much room on the right side to add something else, maybe some other perk or any other element within the track. I have a hi-hat set up here as well, and we've pretty much gone full disco, so we might as well add some hi-hat to this as well. Timing isn't per perfect. I mean, that's the best I can do for now. These are just the perks. I could probably bring this up. So I'm basically just looking for the mic that makes them stand out the most over top of everything else that's already going on. Whoa, that's an intense mic. Okay, that's, yeah. Definitely some room to push things around, but sonically, I think that we have a great starting point here. So this just gives you a solid idea on the quality of these mic models, as well as a few tricks in how to use them, at least with percussions. Outside of the mics, I have like some basic compression going on here. And then on the master, I have virtual tape, which is mwah, for drums. And that's about it. There's obviously no shortage of other Slate Digital compressors you could use to change the quality of what's going on here. But I think that this is a great starting point.